But I think the worst problem that we have, to be quite honest, is that we make spectacular mistakes as people. Uh, some of the worst things that have ever happened on the net that I can remember personally have been the result of somebody just doing something not quite right. So we had one embarrassing in incident at Google. Uh, you know how we crawl the net and we look for malware. And we, we aren't certain, but you know, our software tries to figure out a website that might be infected, and then we flag that site as having a potentially dangerous malware on it. And when you go there through the Google search engine, we pop up an interstitial page saying, you might not want to go here because we think there's malware and it might harm your machine. Of course, we give people the opportunity to go there anyway, uh, but we make them do a cut and paste instead of just clicking OK. Uh, and of course, lots of people do that, and we can't help uh, if they ended up in trouble. Uh, the, the problem, the mistake that we made is that one of our ops guys who was in the process of, of shipping out the most recent update of that table uh, was doing some uh, editing to it and he put a slash in in some place that didn't belong and it marked every website on the internet as having malware. So for about 40 minutes, no matter where you went uh, in the Google search engine, this interstitial page popped up saying, hi, uh, don't go there, there's malware. Uh, of course, this was called to our attention fairly quickly, and we fixed it. Uh, but it's an example of the kind of dramatic things that can go, can go wrong when you're dealing with configuration. So if anybody is looking for a dissertation topic, the problem of detecting a bad configuration is extremely hard. And if you can think of good ways to solve that, it would be very cool.